Sam's in the halo over there, shining. <laughs> We've kind of left you guys out. We've just been in the zone working on some things. Um, you know, putting together our uh, doodad list, I guess it is. It's doodad day. It's doodad day, you okay. Gotta, you gotta get all these little tiny things wrapped up. Uh, yeah, little tiny things. Uh, we got some new um, hood pin supports uh, that we're working on currently, trying to make up this distance here. Uh, our front T-bar, Sam has welded in a new uh, tab here and we have a piece of flat stock going all the way down to the new bumper for some added support on this T-bar. We've also uh, kind of integrated an old T-bar to this T-bar, lots of T-bars, <laughs> tea time, but uh, it's got the nice little flat spot on there for a fender to rest on. Uh, we make all these T-bars ourselves, and each one kind of changes a little bit. Let's see, we also got the exhaust hanger put in here. Had to modify that guy a little bit. I ripped the rubber off last year. Uh, here is our door bar we've got installed. Super, super close for putting doors on. It's looking like a race car. Oh, look, there's the light. Little guy, whoa. Uh, and then, what else have we done? Radiator. Oh, Let me we got uh, so we got new it. radiator hoses. Yeah. Yep. Three park stores later, and finally found the right Kate's hoses yep. in stock. These guys here, uh, fancy dancy, looking good. Just need some coolant. And uh, the line we messed up last night, we just need a new end. We're waiting on that in the mail. Uh, yep. And uh, can you see the rubber isolator? I, I know you can see it down here. At the oh, bottom. we did put our homemade shaker screen oh, yeah. in. Yep. Now we see that guy that's Got in this. here. Yeah, we had to put a little piece of rubber in here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, just added a little bit of support in there, it keeps it from shaking. Yep. Uh, is the main purpose of that exhaust hangers, the door bar. It's just been a little tiny yeah. bump on stuff, and we're getting ready to put these pins in. We, we bought these hood pin mounts. I don't know what you want to call these things. Yeah. Hood pin mounts. Um, we've been running our hood pins off this front T bar, which we could keep doing, but we thought it might be a little less rattly if we brought them back here. We're gonna give it a shot. I had to cut our OG hood pins down about an inch and a half. I think they're gonna we work also had a good. problem every time we bent something on this front T bar here, the hood would never line up. We had yeah, to keep wallering and wallering. Yeah, now we at least got just two fixed points yeah. that hopefully should never bend. <laughs> <laughs> Look how big that guy is. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably get some, get some new ones. Other than that, uh, I guess we're going to, I cut these off with the bandsaw, so I'm gonna have to shave the threads down a little bit. I ran the nuts off, so it's clear, but they don't wanna, this is a pretty tight machine here. I'm gonna have to clean it up with the whizzy wheel, and we're gonna get these put in and see what it looks like. Yep. Okay, opinion time, comments. Should we do the silver fenders, black hood? Or Sam had mentioned something along the lines of uh, silver hood and possibly black fenders, front fenders. Hmm, I don't know. Give us some feedback. Uh, yeah, give us some feedback. Loose ends, loose ends, loose ends. Uh, Slowly but surely, we're coming along. We've got to pin this bar in. Dear Tony. We're uh, just trying to find things that we can do. Uh, we do have sheet metal on order as well. Uh, two more pieces of this uh, silver here. So we're gonna try and make this piece here 
I think we're actually gonna try and go from this bar all the way over to Sam and straight over and come down. Then we'll have enough silver here at the house. And then down under here, we'll just make a piece from here and go back to there. Patch it up, it'll look real good. This is gonna look awesome. Yep, doing what we can. Yeah, buddy. New T bar too thick. <laughs> this is the thinner stuff. Is it the thinner yeah, stuff? The thinner oh, stuff. it's the front one we did though. Yeah, that we Just did what we had. Page. All right, getting to it. Here we're catching you guys back up. We're getting ready to cut this piece right here. We're gonna fill it all the way in. We've strung out the car. We've got our measurements. We've got our makeshift table set up here. We've got ourselves some sheet metal right here. We're gonna go ahead and put you on time lapse and we're gonna get it cut and can't bend it tonight, but we're at least gonna get it cut out. What if we weren't recording? I feel like we've missed some footage today. Been working hard out here in the garage. We've got this panel mocked in. We've got this panel here. It's gonna go right there. I know it doesn't fit because it's gotta squeeze in between a couple bars. Uh, Drew's got some homework to do. He's gonna take this to the shop and get it bent up uh, so that way we can get the last final piece on the other side made. But uh, so far so good, progress looking nice. I like the new hood pin setup. I think it's gonna look real good. Got all of our spring steel put back in. It's gonna oh, be just the, just nice. We got the door bar in too. Well, oh, yeah, the door oh, bar. I don't know if we mentioned that or not. Got it all bolted in. We had to do that because I had to get the exhaust hangers put in. But. Uh, as usual, we've been working hard all weekend. We're tired. We're ready to call it quits. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate everybody. Um, if you've enjoyed our videos this evening, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Love to hear what everybody has to say. We'll catch you next time.